NAD boosters have been one of the most popular longevity supplements over the past few years. However, there's a lot of misconceptions about the effects of these supplements. I've read all the studies on the most popular NAD boosters, NMN and NR, and in this video I'm going to go through the actual effects these supplements have on humans. And I'm also going to compare the effects of these supplements, NMN and NR, and see which one is better. So make sure you click a like and subscribe for future videos about living longer and staying healthier. First, let's take a look at what is NAD and does it have any longevity benefits. NAD is a coenzyme that's found in all living cells. NAD is required for carrying out many vital processes in the body, such as DNA repair, stress response, converting calories into energy, mitochondrial function, metabolic pathways, DNA methylation, antioxidant defense, genome maintenance, and program cell death. NAD levels are generally thought to decline with age. However, it's been found that not all cell types and organs see a decrease in NAD during aging. Regardless, declining NAD contributes to the hallmarks of aging, such as inflammation, DNA damage, mitochondrial dysfunction, and telomere shortening. So, the consequences of having low NAD levels are quite severe. Generally, a healthy lifestyle that involves exercise, adequate sleep, and moderate food intake supports NAD production, whereas being overweight, having diabetes, and other chronic diseases decrease NAD levels. This brings us to the NAD boosting supplements, out of which the most popular ones are NMN, called nicotinamide mononucleotide, or NR, nicotinamide riboside. Both NMN and NR become NAD through what's called the salvage pathway. It's the biggest pathway of NAD production in the body. Let's start with NR. NR has been seen to extend lifespan in yeast, but not in mice. What we're more interested in are the human studies. In humans, NR has been found to be well tolerated, even in doses up to 1000 milligrams. NR increases blood NAD levels in humans in a dose-dependent manner, from 100 to 1000 milligrams per day. A dose of 1000 milligrams over a 7-day period has been seen to raise NAD by 2.7 fold in a 52-year-old male. Now that sounds quite interesting, but what are the effects of having higher NAD levels. Are there actually any health benefits? In animal studies, NR does improve glucose tolerance, metabolic health, mitochondrial function, and liver function. However, in human randomized controlled trials, doses of up to 2000 mg a day of NR haven't been seen to improve insulin sensitivity or glucose tolerance in obese men. In a twin study, NR improved muscle mitochondrial biogenesis, but it didn't affect adiposity or metabolic health. NR in elderly people has been seen to improve exercise performance and reduce inflammation. When it comes to neurodegenerative Generative diseases like Alzheimer's, then NR does have neuroprotective effects in mice and other animals. In humans, a 2023 randomized controlled trial on Alzheimer's patients found that a cocktail of supplements that included 1000 milligrams of NR improved cognitive function and increased hippocampal volume and cortical thickness. Among healthy adults, NR at a dose of 500 milligrams twice a day for six weeks has been seen to lower biomarkers of neurodegeneration. In Parkinson's disease patients, supplementing 1000 milligrams of NR for 30 days, increased cerebral NAD levels significantly, and decreased inflammation in the serum and cerebrospinal fluid. Another 2023 trial on NR supplementation at a dose of 1,500 mg twice a day in 10 Parkinson's patients resulted in improvements in movement disorder scores. So while NR doesn't appear to improve insulin sensitivity, it does have neuroprotective effects in both animals and humans. But to actually know if it's going to slow down or have any other effects on neurodegeneration, we would need more large future clinical trials. What about heart disease? NR also has cardioprotective effects in patients of heart failure. One trial did find that 1000 mg a day of NR for 6 weeks in middle-aged and elderly people decreased blood pressure and arterial stiffness. However, this hasn't been seen in other studies. There has been a fear that NR promotes cancer based on a mouse study from 2022. However, in that study, the mice already had aggressive cancer. NR didn't cause cancer or make it worse. On the flip side, another 2023 study found that administration of NR to mice at a dose of 400 milligrams per kilogram mitigated cancer progression and metastasis. Overall, NR shows promise in having health span benefits. There's little to no evidence suggesting that it's going to increase life span even in animals, but it certainly has some other benefits for the elderly people who might have low NAD levels. The most reproducible effect of NR in human trials has been the reduction in inflammation. Let's move on with NMN. In 2014, Dr. David Sinclair and colleagues showed that NMN administration could extend median lifespan of mice 
the research to overexpression. That's pretty much the only animal study showing life extension from NMN in animals. But what are the effects in human studies? NMN has also been seen to be safe and effective in raising NAD levels in humans. However, the long-term safety data is scarce. Although NMN has been seen to have neuroprotective effects in animals, there's no studies on humans yet. In terms of cardiac protective effects, we do have a 2023 randomized controlled trial showing that 12 weeks of 125 milligrams of NMN twice a day showed potential in reducing arterial stiffness in healthy middle-aged adults compared to placebo. Unlike NR, NMN has been shown to improve insulin sensitivity in pre-diabetic humans. A 2022 randomized controlled trial on 66 healthy subjects found that 300 mg of NMN per day for 60 days resulted in better insulin sensitivity scores compared to placebo, although the difference wasn't statistically significant. In overweight middle-aged and older adults, 500 mg of crystalline NMN called MIB626 twice a day for 28 days significantly significantly reduced total LDL and non-HDL cholesterol, body weight, and diastolic blood pressure compared to placebo. When it comes to exercise performance, then NMN has been shown to improve aerobic capacity, walking distance, and VO2 max. A 2021 randomized clinical trial on amateur runners saw that 300 to 1200 milligrams a day of NMN for six weeks improved aerobic capacity compared to controls. One additional benefit seen from NMN supplementation is improved sleep quality. People taking 300 milligrams of NMN at lunch lunch for 12 weeks have been seen significantly greater amounts of deep and REM sleep compared to placebo. NR has been seen to reduce sleep demand in mice but there's no studies in humans. Overall both NMN and NR have research suggesting that they have some health benefits especially for the individuals with low NAD levels. The FDA has granted Chromadex true niage and nicotinoid riboside the generally recognized as safe grass status in 2016. NMN doesn't have that status and is actually under investigation by the FDA and it's technically not allowed to be sold on the US market. So here's a table comparing the effects of NMN and NR in humans. Both NMN and NR raise NAD levels. Both improve physical performance. Both have cardioprotective and neuroprotective effects. Although the neuroprotective effects in humans have been validated by only NR, both have neuroprotective effects in animals. Only NMN has been shown to improve insulin sensitivity and sleep, whereas only NR has been shown to lower inflammation. And lastly, only NR has the generally recognized as safe status by the FDA, whereas NMN doesn't. Which one do I think is better? I think I think they're both pretty equal and they both have obviously some health benefits. A lot of the benefits overlap but there are also some effects that you don't see in the other supplement. But that could also be just because they haven't studied that particular effect in that supplement. So it's just still relatively new to say anything conclusive about either of those supplements. They're not magic molecules by any means. NR hasn't been shown to increase lifespan in animals and even the lifespan increase from NMN hasn't been replicated. In human studies both NMN and NR appear to have some cardioprotective and metabolic benefits and they both improve physical performance. They're not going to give you superpowers and they work more effectively if you have low NAD levels. There's limited evidence that NMN or NR would improve health outcomes in otherwise healthy individuals. Although they might have benefits for the elderly who tend to see a decline in NAD levels, that doesn't apply to every person as some people are able to maintain higher NAD levels even with age. In my opinion, it's more important to focus on the other lifestyle activities that increase NAD, such as exercise, intermittent fasting, circadian rhythm alignment, sleep, cardio, and proper nutrition. If you want to check out my evidence-based workout routine for longevity, then check out this video. Other than that, thanks for watching this video. Make sure you click the like, subscribe, notification bell as well. My name is Seem. Stay optimized, stay empowered.